Hey everybody, we're back. Um, let's go back to Grandma's house. Because I think I should have talked to her again. Instead of just uh, showing her the photos. Let's see if that actually works. Hey, Grandma. It's my favorite grants. You only... Okay, let's just skip that uh, dialogue. <clears throat> Okay, Grandma. Can we talk, Gran? Of course, my boy. All right. See, that's what I meant. Um, I in the last part, I only showed her the picture and the letter. Uh, we actually have to talk to her about it. So let's do that. Have you ever heard of a Schottenjäger? 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 Oh, how odd, Gabriel. I haven't heard that word in years. My goodness, you've given me a chill. Your granddad used to say that sometimes in his sleep. Really? Do you know what it means? No, I'm afraid not. I asked him about it once. I, I don't think he answered me. Odd. Hmm. Huh. Thanks, Grand. Do you know anyone named Heinz Ritter? Heinz Ritter? Oh, Gabriel. Where did you hear that name? I found a letter in Granddaddy's clock. Oh. I promised I'd never tell you or your father, but I suppose it doesn't matter now. Tell me, Graham. Your granddad's name was Heinz Ritter before he came to America. He changed it to Harrison Knight legally when he arrived. Do you know anyone named Wolfgang Ritter? Wolfgang Ritter? Oh, uh, no, dear. Huh. Odd. As I said, your granddad's surname was originally Ritter. Why did granddad change his name? I don't know. I tried to ask him about his family and his life before America, but he didn't want to talk about it. He never even told me about his name change. I found out one day when I saw his passport in a drawer. Since he obviously found it painful, I never questioned him about it. But I'm sure it wasn't trouble with the law. Your granddad was the best man I ever knew. Didn't granddad ever say anything about his past or his family? Only that his family was crazy and that he never wanted to see them again. He believed in some family curse. Thought that he could spare Philip and Philip's children from what he called old nightmares. Whatever Harrison wanted to spare you, though. Oh, it cost him plenty. He never did sleep well, and he would often get a far away, guilty look in his eyes. He was wrestling with something he thought he should be doing, someplace he thought he ought to be. I don't know how he could think that he should be anywhere but with me and our child. It's a terrible way to live. Oh, nothing. Never mind. All right, dear. All right, and that was exactly what I wanted to achieve. So let's get away from here. Um, so we have a hundred dollars, um, and uh, Grandma actually uh, told us that we should visit the family grave, and we're gonna do that. And I don't really remember where it was. I think on the left side. Yeah, he said like past uh, the Ross tomb. Uh, well, I think. It says right tomb now. Let's see if it's here somewhere. That's right. Right family tomb. Oh, look, it's a, it's a squirrel. Can we look at it? The marker oh, no. reads Harrison Knight. Granddaddy. Oh, yes, of course. Um, our grandma's. Um, no, why right? Wasn't it. Maybe it was. Uh, Grandma's old surname. <clears throat> Let's look at this stuff. Demarca reads Franklin Wright. These are Grand's folks. I never knew them. Yeah, I guess uh, that was. Demarca reads. These are okay. Grand's folks. I never knew them. Okay, so we have Harrison. That's what about Harley? Demarca reads Harley Wright. Grand sister. That's grand sister. Reads, Philip. That's Philip our Knight. father, right? Daddy. Yeah. Okay. 
Someone has left a small vase by the Wright family tomb. Not sure who else comes here besides me and Gryan, but that was nice of them. Okay, can we do anything with that vase? I don't really know. What about the squirrel? This hmm. family tomb bears the inscription, Rest in Peace, and the name Fuller Mill. Fuller Mill. What is that vase? Uh, can we exit here? Can we look at the statue. A statue of a small child clings to a cross atop the right tomb. Okay. There's got to be something with that s squirrel. Do we have anything in our bags? Bracelet mold, money, sketchbook, nothing. Weird. Okay. So I guess there's nothing at our old family tomb. Is there? Well, maybe we should look at the other things here. Um. Demarca reads. Yeah, that was grand sister. Demarca reads. Franklin Wright. These are grand. Okay. What about the um? A stat. We looked at the statue, right? Yeah. Hmm. Margaret. Demarca reads. Margaret Templeton Wright. Oh, that's our mother. Knight. My mother. Oh yeah, I forgot about the mother. Um. Okay. So I guess you looked at all of them, right? Meryl? Demarca reads. Meryl Planter Wright. These are grands, folks. I never knew them. Maybe you should touch him. Gabriel doesn't want to take the nameplates from his family tomb. Gabriel doesn't. Gabriel doesn't. Hey, Daddy. Oh. Miss you, Mom. Oh. How's it going, Granddaddy? Oh, oh shoot. Huh. Looks like someone left something in that vase. I knew something was up with that squirrel. Let's have a look. All right, it's money. Twenty dollars. Inside dollar the broken bill. vase, Gabriel sees a twenty-dollar bill. Looks awesome. like it's Let's my lucky day. Pick it up. So now we have one hundred and twenty dollars, and that's actually enough to purchase the animal mask. From that Dixieland drugstore. Hmm. Napoleon House. That was uh, the jeweler, right? Won't go there yet. Let's go to the Dixieland drugstore and buy the um, animal mask. No. Hi. Mm-hmm. To get the mask, Gabriel would have to buy it. That's what I intend on doing. I have $120. You still want to sell that crocodile mask? That's a hundred twenty Shona. That mask is yours, sir. Awesome. Looks pretty real. Here you go. Carefully don't bite you now. <laughs> Yeah, thanks. Now, don't you go forgetting your lag nap. A free bottle of Master Gambling Oil. The sign said I could get Lady Luck Oil instead. Well, I was thinking a man as young as you wouldn't be needing that kind of remedy. But, uh, if you's having problems with your, uh... Uh, that's all right. Uh, believe me, I don't need it. I'll just stick with this. Thanks anyway. <laughs> Cause it ain't none of my business if you do need it now, huh? I don't need it. Oh, of course you don't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, guess we don't. I mean, the Getty pr woman wasn't very disappointed with us. Um, okay, let's go to the Napoleon house now and see if that jeweler guy can do anything with our little bracelet print. Whatever you call it. Unhappy man. 
Oh look, there's a, another drummer. That is so weird. An unhappy looking man exposed the dangers of drinking alone. <laughs> Can I ask you some questions? No. Now beat it. Okay, he's not very friendly. Let's talk to the bartender. Could I ask you a few questions? Sure. I'm not too busy at the moment. Oh, wow. Okay, let's uh, talk to him about all this stuff. What can you tell me about voodoo? Voodoo? Don't believe in it myself. I invented a drink once called Laveau's Tomb, but it wasn't very popular. Some people do believe, though. Even some of our regulars here at Napoleon House. What do you know about the voodoo murders? It's all over the papers. Some kind of serial killings. What do you know about the voodoo murders? They say a lot of voodoo stuff is found near the bodies. What do you know about the voodoo murders? Everybody's talking about them. It's starting to scare off the tourists. What can you tell me about New Orleans? Greatest city in the world. I never want to live anywhere else. What can you tell me about New Orleans? This city must get about a million tourists a year, especially around Mardi Gras. What can you tell me about New Orleans? A lot of people come here because they think it's mysterious. All that talk about voodoo. What can you tell me about New Orleans? You should probably find a book on the subject, you know? What's the significance of St. John's Eve? All I know is, it's some kind of voodoo holiday. What's the significance of St. John's Eve? People who believe in that stuff think it's a real special night. Magical. Do you know anything about snakes? What about them? No, just anything. <laughs> you ask the weirdest questions. I don't know anything about snakes. Have you ever heard of Marie Laveau? Sure. She's kind of the patron saint of voodoo in New Orleans. Don't know too much about her, but the tourists sure get off on all that stuff. Have you ever heard of Marie Laveau? There's a voodoo museum in town. They'd know more about it than I do. Do you know anything about animal masks? Come Mardi Gras, you see all kinds of masks in here. Do you know anything about black voodoo? Black voodoo? No. I prefer not to think about that kind of stuff personally. Crime, perversion, weirdos. Just makes me depressed. Does the name Ogun Badagri mean anything to you? Never heard of it. Have you ever heard of Dambala? Never heard of it. Can you tell me anything about a secret voodoo houndfall? Are you kidding? Around here? Hope they aren't serving drinks. Well, if they are, I don't think anyone in his right mind would want one. Does the phrase Capri Sanko mean anything to you? Never heard of it. Have you ever heard of a Schottenjäger? You know what goes in it? I don't think it's a drink. Oh, then I probably don't know anything about it. Tell me about yourself. A good bartender listens to other people's life stories without telling his own. What can you tell me about your regulars in here? See those old guys at the chess table? That's Sam and Marcus. They've played there every day for 20 years. Sam, the one with the purple jacket, he's lost every one of those games. It's not that he's a bad player. I've seen him beat guys twice as good as Marcus. But Marcus has Sam so psyched out, he loses his nerve every time. By the way, Sam, the chess player, he's into that voodoo stuff. He's always talking about spells and gree, gree and such. Really? Thanks. What can you tell me about your regulars in here? This crowd? The ones you see are mostly regulars. That guy and girl in the corner come here a lot. When they're not fighting, they're all over each other. In other words, they're in love. What can you tell me about your regulars in here? I'd call you a regular, Gabe. And one of our local writer celebrities, too. Been coming in here, what, ten years now? Oh, don't remind me. We're still waiting for that bestseller. Don't hold your breath. What can you tell me about your regulars in here? That's about all I can say about this crowd. So what has Sam told you about voodoo? Well, 
About 50 years ago, Sam was too shy to talk to this pretty girl he was in love with. He went to a voodoo yen and had her make him a love charm. It was a little pouch that he had to bury under the girl's front porch. Well, he buried the pouch, and the next day he went up and talked to the girl. And sure enough, she didn't reject him. Now she's his wife, poor guy. So what has Sam told you about voodoo? That's about all I can remember. Hi, how's it going? It's been worse. Business picking up? Some. Mostly locals, as usual. You ever get tired of tending bar for a living? Never thought much about doing anything else. The weather's pretty crappy out there today. I wouldn't know. I never get out of here before dark. This looks like a lively crowd. Lively crowds are trouble. These guys just sit and drink. That makes me happy. Tell me about the street musicians around here. I like music as much as the next guy, but they get pretty monotonous sometimes, you know? Like that drummer right outside. They say there's been a drummer outside Napoleon House since the day it opened. Now, I like drums, but this character really gets on my nerves. It sounds like the same thing over and over. I just want to say enough already. Sounds like my life. Tell me about the street musicians around here. Don't know what else I could say. All right, that was um, pretty informative. So he notices uh, the drummers too, and um, that guy right here, he seems to like voodoo, and he seems to believe in that little gree gree stuff. And he is playing a game of chess, and he has never won before. And um, we have a bottle of gambling oil, which gives you luck, I guess, or something. Let's look at it. Um, how do you look at a sharp-eyed gentleman in a grey sport coat hunches <laughs> over a chessboard, chuckling to himself. Okay, that's not what I wanted the to do. The small bottle is labeled Master Gambling Oil. Okay, so that's, I guess, what we're here for, to convince him um, to use it and then win the chess. But let's look at the other side. A young woman is enjoying drinks with her boyfriend. Hmm, kind of cute. Kind of is good enough, I guess. Hey, how's it going? Could you excuse us? We're talking here. Well, he has a huge ass beer right there. He's uh, serious. Can I ask you some questions? <sighs> I'm trying to be with my lady here, pal. Far be it from me to stand in the way of romance. All right, let's talk. A to man in a loud tie. That's what I want. What I want to do? To do? Excuse me, I, I hate to interrupt your game, but could I ask you a few questions? <laughs> what game? This ain't a game, it's a slaughter. <laughs> He's right, you know. So let me die in peace, would you? Nothing like a good game of chess, huh? This isn't a good game, this is torture. Oh, well, uh, have fun. All right. Sorry to bother you, but could I ask you a few questions? I'm not the chatty type, am I, Sam? No, you old bastard, you're not. Besides, I'm busy sucking poor old Sam dry. Go bug someone else. You're a real sweetheart, Marcus, you bastard. Okay, so I guess we have to go for the direct route. Let's uh, use the gambling oil on him. Yes. Got a second, Sam? It's about your game. I don't have a game, that's my problem. Don't you touch those chess pieces while I've gone, you bastard. I never needed to cheat yet, you loser. Thought you might be interested in this gambling oil. Let me see that. Master gambling oil. What's it for? Well, what do you think? Don't you ever wonder why Marcus wins every time? Whoa, hold it! You really think Marcus uses this stuff? Would I make something like that up? Get out of <laughs> here! Marcus would never use something like this! Well, if that's what you want to believe... This is a powerful voodoo oil. Ah, go on. Really? Yes, of course it is. Could make a nun get lucky. This voodoo lucky. oil could make a nun get lucky. Really? 
You think it really works, huh? I'd stake my reputation as a novelist on it. Hmm. And you say Marcus uses this? That explains a lot. Let me see that bottle. This looks authentic. Oh, it is. If I could really beat that bastard. Stonewall, give me a pimp's cup, would you? Coming up, Sam. Okay, is he gonna drink it now? I thought you like spread it on your your hands or something. How much you think I ought to put in here? Careful, you don't want to overdo it. Too much luck can be dangerous. Ha! There's no such thing as too much. Now stand back. Come on already, I'm ready to checkmate. We'll see about that, Mr. Smarty Big Mouth. Alright, now he's confident about his chess playing. And he will win. Okay. Checkmate! <laughs> Checkmate, you bastard! Son of a bitch! What the years I've been waiting to say that! Checkmate! 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 You <laughs> are the biggest butthead, Sam Singleton, that I have ever met. Checkmate! You... <laughs> You can just put that chessboard where the sun don't shine. Hallelujah! I wow, did he's it. not a... Yippee! He's not a very good sportsman. Both of them are not, I guess. After nice 20 game. years... Nice game! Hell, I was brilliant! Of course, I gotta give some of the credit to that oil of yours. I've been losing to that guy for 20 years. If you ever need a favor, you cop the Sam, you hear? Will do. Oh, what a coincidence, because we actually have a favor and that is our little bracelet mold could you do anything with this what is this a clay mold hmm well i am a jeweler you know and i Shit. owe you one would you like me to cast this for you if you can you got it pal actually it'll be a pleasure to get my tools out first time in years i've been too busy playing that goddamn game I'll have the bracelet later today. Right now, I feel like I could do anything. Meet me here in a few hours. Great, thanks. Awesome. <clears throat> awesome, awesome, awesome. So, we got that done. That was pretty cool. And we are gonna exit. And the next place we are gonna go to is the Jackson Square Lookout. Because we haven't really been there, have we? At least, uh, we've probably been there on accident. Uh, let's use those binoculars and see what we actually see. Oh, look at that. Can we move? No, we can't. I don't think we can. Nice flowers. Not that a real man would notice something like... Okay, he's saying the same stuff he does... Oh, wrong. <laughs> Return to game. So, what do, how do we get out of this? Press escape? No. How do you quit those binoculars? I don't know. Can we use um, every one of them? Okay, that seems like it's going up. The Presbyterian. This building was begun by the Spaniards in 1795 after a fire in Jackson Square. It was intended for monks, but now houses historical exhibits. Okay, I didn't really want to do that, but... Okay, so we can look at all the different stuff, but how do we actually exit this? Am I dumb? Can we move? Th oh, okay, that's how it worked. Okay. Those binoculars aren't going anywhere without a jackhammer. So they're fixed positions? That is that is weird. Or they probably don't, it's just... We can't... Oh, oh look at that, it's the band. A Cajun band, inventive as always with their instruments, is having a good old time on the lawn. Funny how catchy that toe tapping can be. Yeah, cool. Um, which one haven't we used yet? The one on the far right, I guess. Mm -hmm. That's Crash. What oh, the hell is he hell? up to with that drummer? 
Oh, Crash. Huh. Crash and the drummer. Interesting. Yeah, that is interesting. Uh, let's go down to the park. Or the square and see if uh, we can talk to Crash. Or if we can talk to the drummer or whatever. Let's talk to the drummer. Hey there, nice beat. I dig it. The drummer does. Okay, we've seen that um, already. Let's go up north and see if we can find Crash. Because he went this way. Oh, maybe he went to the cathedral. <coughs> oh, I, oh, there he is. What the hell is wrong with him? I need to talk to you. Ask you some questions. <coughs> no way, man. I'm too sick. Just go away. Come on. I have to know what you know about these voodoo people. Uh, you don't know nothing about nothing, man. You are so far out of it, you wouldn't understand anything. Just like that friend of yours, Mosley. <coughs> Go away! I'm not like Mosley. I know more than you think I do. I'll believe you. Oh, forget it, man. It's not worth my breath. <coughs> okay. What? We have, probably have to show him something, but what? What is... Maybe she could show him the animal mask? Do you recognize this? <coughs> no. <coughs> Don't waste my time. Okay, he doesn't recognize that. Um, but he probably recognizes um, the Veve. Veve. Or maybe the code. Let's try that first. Do you recognize this? <coughs> no. <coughs> okay. He doesn't. Let's just uh, hit him with a brick. Do you recognize this? <coughs> no. No, what the f... What the f... I don't know, what else could we show him? The the photo, the clock letter, the number, the voodoo code, the photo page, police photo, should we try the, the um voodoo thing? Do you recognize this? No. <sighs> yeah, so I guess he won't um he won't talk to us. Mm, what do we do now? Maybe our bracelet is done. Let's see. Because I actually think you have to show Crash uh, the bracelet. But uh, he's not back yet, so I don't really know what to do. Any place we haven't been yet? Maybe go back to uh, the bookstore? Hello, Maybe. beautiful. It's me. The excitement of seeing you is killing me. Maybe she's done her research about the patterns. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Schottenjäger. We could ask her about that. Have you ever heard of a Schottenjäger? No. Is that a voodoo word? I don't think so. It's German. No, sorry. I don't speak German. All right. Hmm. Hmm, I have no clue. Well, that guy, he's not even drumming anymore. He's just standing in front of the window. Creep ass. Son of a bitch. Um, Voodoo Museum? Jackson Square? I don't know. I really don't have a clue. We just need that bracelet. So we can show a crash. Oh, look, he's back. Okay. That triggered her, talking about the shot. Sam, huh? my man. Hey there, it's you. I got that bracelet for you. Awesome. This piece was a real toughie. For some reason, the metal just wasn't setting. I must be out of practice. Well, it looks good to me. Thanks, Sam. No problem. By the way, I'm heading out of town tonight. Yeah, where to? Marcus used to tell me that if I ever beat him at chess, he'd take me around the world. The old bastard has enough money stuffed in his mattress to cover the federal deficit, and he hates spending a penny of it. I'm going to enjoy watching him squirm through every mile. Sounds like fun. Good luck. Are you kidding? Luck is my middle name. Okay, that explains why he was so pissed off. 
that he lost, I guess. Okay, we have the bracelet. Um, let's go to the cathedral now and show it to our little sick junkie friend. Do you recognize this? Okay. Do you recognize this? Ah, where did you get that? Why? Do you know something about it? Know something about it? Look at this! Crash opens his shirt and reveals a tattoo. It's the same. The same snake. It's their sign, man. The mark of the snake. <coughs> Without it, they'll never let you get close. The sign of the snake, right. Your tattoo, my bra bracelet. Now do you believe that I know something about these people? All right, yeah. You know about them. I... <coughs> I guess. <coughs> okay. Can we talk now? Will you answer some questions for me now? <coughs> okay, I'll talk to you. A little, but make it fast. All right, a lot of talk options. It's not going to go fast. Uh, sorry, Crash. So, yeah, let's uh, start talking about Tell stuff. Tell me what you know about voodoo. Look, take some advice. Stay away from this voodoo shit. You don't really want to know, man. Believe me. Do yourself a favor and leave me alone. I want to know about the voodoo murders. You're on the right track. That's all I can say. I'm not going to risk my life by talking about it, man. Does the name Ogun Badagri mean anything to you? No! Don't say that name! Why not? It's evil, man! Do you know anything about snakes? The eyes! Snake's eyes! Dumbala! Okay, calm down. Tell me what you know about Dumbala. No! Don't say that word! They'll hear you! They who? Shut up, man! What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? Nothing. Just leave me alone. Do you have any idea what Capri Saint Carl means? I never heard of that. Do you know anything about Marie Laveau? I don't know her. Honest. What can you tell me about Norris? Man, can't you see I'm sick? Don't bug me with stupid questions. Tell me what you know about a secret voodoo hound for all Norris. Oh, man. Just shut up about that. Can't you see I'm sick? Are you trying to kill me? I saw you talking to that drummer. What did you tell him? You saw me with the drummer? Nobody's supposed to see. Oh, shit! I blew it again. Promise you won't say nothing to no one. It'll get back to him. Everything does. Promise me you won't tell anyone you saw me. Okay, but you have to tell me everything I want to know. Okay, okay, all right. I was sending a message, man. They have these rider drummers. Posted around the quarter. They see everything, and they report. Report? How? The drums, man. It's some kind of code. Tell me what you know about a secret voodoo hound for all Nolans. All right, all right. This is underground cartel in Nolans. A voodoo cartel. They control everything that happens on the street. I mean, everything that's bought or sold. They have fingers in the legit world, too. Banks, foreign stuff, you name it. They're supposed to be this temple. What you said, a hound for. That's their headquarters, man. I heard people say it's underground, somewhere in the quarter. I don't know where, though. Have you ever been there? No, no. I've never been in it. I'm nobody, man. A runner, but I saw them once. Out at the lake. They became animals, man. Beasts. I remember the eyes. The eyes. Hey, are you okay? The eyes. The eyes of the snake. I think I should go get a doctor. <coughs> hey, are you all right? Someone. I need help. The eyes. The eyes of the snake. Dumbala. Crash? Crash spasms twice more, then dies as Gabriel watches. Oh my god. Oh, poor bastard. Alright, the eyes. 
the eyes. Um, let's look at Crash. Crash is dead. Okay, no, I don't want to talk to him. He's dead. Oh, he's probably been poisoned or something. Let's rape him. Okay, no. Um, let's use our sketchbook and do a sketch of that tattoo. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Tattoo. I guess I better copy this tattoo. All right. Crash's face shows signs of strangulation. His death was not a pleasant one. Oh, it's like a snake uh, strangled him. Okay, let's let's get the f, f out of here to um, the bookstore. Because I think for we are I done for the day. So I came back. Really? I forgot you were gone. Okay. Guess we're not done for the day. Mm-hmm. What about the snake tattoo? Maybe she can do Don't some research. Don't mind if I do. Do what? Oh, nothing. Maybe she can do some research on that. Probably not. It's not. I'm just gonna end the. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Oh yeah, we can. Could you do some research for me? Sure. What? Oh, the Rada drums. Yeah, yeah, of course. Could you research Rada drums for me? Rada drums? Sure. I don't think we have any books on that topic in the shop, but I'll contact our suppliers. Assuming any of them will extend you any credit. Tell them it's an emergency. Uh-huh. I can see where a Rada drum book would be incredibly urgent. Anything else? Nope. I can't think of anything. All right. Maybe we should uh, try to call our German uh, connection again. Because now um, we have, like, not proof, but we know he's, um, like, family or something. Right. Didn't Grice say you had to dial 011 first to get international? Okay, let's try this. 011 Oh, he's gonna call. Nice. Guten Tag. Sie haben Schloss Ritter erreicht. I'm looking for Wolfgang Ritter. Ja, einen Moment. Yeah, is this Gabriel on the phone? This is Gabriel Knight. Why are you calling me, Mr. Ritter? I've been having premonitions of great danger for you, Gabriel. You must leave New Orleans this very day. What in the hell are you talking about? It is hard to explain on the phone. I have had dreams about you. It took me a long time to have you tracked down. I knew that Heinz had a grandson. But until this dream started, I, I did not know if I should contact you. You say you're related to my grandfather? Heinz was my brother. There is much about the family that you should know. Come to Schloss Ritter in Rittersburg, West Germany. It is our family home. I will tell you everything when you come. You must come immediately. You are in great danger there. Look, I appreciate the family spirit and all. But frankly, I don't know you from Adam. And I'm not going to fly off to Germany, even if I could afford it. Gabriel, please. If you won't listen, at least let me send you something. It is a journal from one of your ancestors. Promise me you will read it. You are the last of our line. I'm too old to carry on. You are our last hope. Please, for your family, read the journal. All right, I'll look at it. Good. Now be careful, and come to me as soon as you can. Goodbye. Alright, it's Rittersberg in West Germany. So I guess, um... I don't know. <laughs> it's weird, it's like 1994 or something, and they're calling it West Germany. It doesn't really make any sense, but... Who cares? Um, okay, so he's gonna send us a journal that is pretty cool um can we talk to grace and tell her that we will want that journal as soon as possible or something what's up no so i'm gonna end the part here and i'll see you guys in the next part goodbye <laughs>